Hi everyone, it's Gail. I am back with the three and 30 alphabet challenge um, E this time and I am doing embossing and let's see. Yep, that's what, uh, that's what both Tina and Rachel did was embossing. So I have some new things though to show you and I hope they are helpful to you. So anyway, um, maybe we'll talk a little bit before I hit the timer. <laughs> so, you know, a couple different kind of embossings, you know, there's embossing with embossing powder, right? And then there's embossing with an embossing folder and a machine. Well, as you know, I got these um, in Happy Mail, these great big old embossers. I don't have a machine that they fit in, so I'm going to give them to a subby. But before I do, I want to um, I want to show you a way to emboss without a machine. And I um, definitely give credit to my sweet friend, Jamie, who is my unofficial, unpaid, but very much appreciated assistant. <laughs> uh, we always tease that she's my assistant because she keeps me on track all the time. So anyway, um, I'm gonna show you that. I'm gonna try to emboss some craft texts. I don't, I'm, have no idea how that's gonna go but we're gonna give it a try. So yeah, we have some stuff to do. Um, and I'd like to make a few pieces for the bunny journal. So that's kind of what I'm up to. I wanna show you a diff couple different techniques, couple things that, like I say, I wanna do for my bunny journal. So, okay, so let's see, where can I put my, where can I put my iPad? I'm, I've like, used up all my room here. Let me let me get rid of some bunny stuff. I'm just going to toss it over here. It's still within reach because I'll probably need something from that. Okay, I think we're situated. I am going to pull my iPad up on my table up over here. I'm going to hit start and I'm going to get scared. <laughs> okay, so first, you know, regular embossing with um, with an embossing folder. You can see the texture on these pieces. That's 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 I guess the first. That's where we'll start. Let's just start right there. Okay. So I have this little thing. It's a, I think it's a Sizzix machine. Yep. It's called a Texture Boutique, and it's just, a, it's a little bitty big shot, basically, is what it is. It's got these little things to work with. So, um, I thought I would emboss these two pieces of paper and perhaps make, um, perhaps make a little bit of a, a journaling card for for my cute little bunny journals. Um, now, if you spritz the paper a little bit, that's always a good idea for um, to so that the paper doesn't crack. But this paper is made for embossing, so it's pretty good, I think. So let's just see see how we do. I don't know, feeling the pressure as usual with this time thing, but you know. We're just gonna do what we're gonna do. Okay, so cute, right? Can you see that texture? I'm gonna do the other card too. I think I'll put that in that way. Kind of one for the girl, one for the boy type of deal. So, so there we go. So those are ready. And then I had idea to do the other kind of embossing on these so that's what we're going to try but we'll try that in a minute so I'm just going to set these two aside those are the ones we're going to work with um and set that aside so one of the things I wanted to try is I have these 3d okay that one's not going to fit but this um 3d embossing folder from Tim Holtz yeah, that will fit. So, but I'm just not sure if it's gonna work with the um, 
the plates that I have. And so, of course, when I'm pressed for time, I'm going to go ahead and try it. <laughs> So the 3D embossing folder, the difference is like the one that we just did. Um, I don't know. They're kind of the same. They're just more, they're deeper, I guess I would say. I feel like they're deeper. So um, I don't even know if this is going to go through. I for sure think we don't need the shim. Let's just see if that's even going to go through on this little machine. Nope, I don't think it's going to go through. So, so much for that idea. But I do love doing the, doing envelopes with the 3D embossers. And I just have to use my uh, big Tim Holtz uh, Vagabond is my other embosser and so that's what I have to use for that so that being the case I can't do these two envelopes but of course you know your friend I have all sorts of them that are embossed already so I can show you show you some of those um, I'm gonna use this maybe use this blue one in the boy journal and what do I want to use in the girl journal Maybe I'll just use one of these whiter ones. And these for sure, I spritz with water before doing them, um, just because they, otherwise they crack, uh, crack and tear, you know. So, okay, so we're gonna pretend like I just did these, but we're gonna do enough that you'll, see. I'll, I'll get my three things in. Okay. So I'm going to set the machine aside. Now to the problem of these guys, which are too big, they are made for other machines. So they don't fit my Vagabond or my little one. But my friend Jamie comes up with such a great idea. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take, I'm going to find a piece of paper here just to I just want a regular piece of paper. Uh, okay, I'll don't waste time. Don't I have some coffee dye? Yes, I do. Okay. Oh, we'll use this. This is kind of card stocky, so this might be a good, good trial. So, what my friend Jamie said. Oh, I'm gonna have to. Oh, here we go. That's how you open it. Because I am sending these off to Catherine, who was the first one to reply to my video saying, I don't, I can't use these. They, they're too big. And she does have the machine. So, oh, it goes that way. Okay. So I am going to spritz this with a little water just to, just to kind of make sure that I don't go through the paper so the nice thing about this is you can do an eight and a half by 11 paper okay so right and now I don't have a machine but what I do have is a rolling pin so we're going to try this I, I'm sorry if I jiggle you but we're going to just try this and I'm kind of having to work around my camera which is interesting. My table gives a little bit. I think if I was to do this with the rolling pin, I would go onto my cement floor, something more sturdy than my table. So I'm just going over the whole thing. I haven't tried this yet, you guys, so this is an experiment. So this is a pretty rose pattern one. So let's see. Oh my gosh. Okay. So you can kind of open it and see where you didn't get very good, which is right over here. Sorry. I know I'm jiggling. Yeah, I can see the camera bouncing, but it is what it is, peeps. Okay. So can you see, can you see those roses in there? So that is doable. That is doable. 
So my thought was I want to emboss this, which is going to be a cover for a journal. And I'm going to do it the exact same way. Um, but I am going to wait and do this on my cement so that, um, so I get a better imprint. This one, this one's not bad. It's just not as deep as I would want the cover. So, but anyway, I just wanted to show you that as an idea. If you, if you don't have a machine at all, you know, and for the little ones, even it'll work. So, so there you go. That's, that's a little hint from Jamie. And there are actually YouTube videos out there on embossing with a rolling pin, or I think they say embossing without a, um, without a machine or something like that. Okay. So let's, let's get started on our ephemera pieces before I'm like out of luck. Okay, so I need a little something to cover my area. Oh, sorry. I'm just crashing through everything because I'm hurrying. All right. So my thought was we would emboss these with the embossing machine and then emboss them with this kind of embossing. So... I don't know how this is going to work. We're going to see. Um, but what I thought was if I took my embossing ink pad and just ran it kind of over the tops of the raised design, in this case flowers, that maybe it would, I'm using a sunflower all my embossing powders I got at garage sales, so I can't really give you any information on them. So I don't know how this is going to work, but we're just going to see. I'm just going to put that at the top and kind of run it down. <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? We may have just a big old mess that we need to cover up. I don't know. But we're going to try it. What the heck? Nothing ventured, nothing gained. We might come up with something we really like. Okay, well, it, I, I was hoping that it would only hit the top, and it, it didn't. It, it hit kind of... I wonder... Hang on, I'm going to grab a uh, brush. Okay, I was trying to be prepared, and yet it actually does kind of brush off around the flowers. Okay, let's... Let's see what that does. First of all, I'm gonna I'm gonna put my powder back in my jar. Oh boy, the time is tick tocking. But I'd rather be late getting my items done than waste any embossing powder. <laughs> Just kind of stingy like that. Okay, now we are going to hit it with the heat gun. So turn your volume down or whatever for a second.
Okay. Well, it's random and messy kind of, but it's kind of cool. Okay, so that's embossed. Now I want to emboss this one with some clear. Um, just going to kind of see. Just rubbing this across gently to just try and get the flowers, but who knows? <laughs> who knows what I got? Okay, so... Once again, we're just going to, this is violet opal, this is called. It's white, but I was hoping it'd be kind of like opalescent, you know? Okay, we'll see how this goes. Ooh, it's big crystals. Ooh, that's going to be kind of pretty, I think. Okay. Yeah, it's definitely not super perfect, you know, as it would be like on a chipboard piece or something that's got, you know, finite edges. <laughs> because, but I think it's going to be kind of cool. Okay. These out of the way. Hit it with the heat gun. See what we get. This is going to be much more subtle, I think. Definitely adding some sparkle. I can see the sparkle. Okay, so we got that one done. It's harder to see, kinda. So maybe I need a little bit more right there. Okay, it's harder to see, kind of, but it's got a sparkle to it. Yeah, okay, so now let's, let's make our pieces. Oh my goodness, I'm just gonna have quite the mess after this. All right, so these two, I want to, goodness, I'm dropping things, you guys, it's just, it's, it's a goat show today. It's a goat show. <laughs> okay. Just cutting off the little edge that didn't get embossed. That's all I'm doing there. Now, what I would like to do is back them with some... Maybe we'll just do some... Uh, straw paper. Okay, glue book. Okay, so I've done half the time of just embossing. <laughs> haven't, haven't made anything yet. Okay, I'm just gonna kind of go more or less down the middle because I am going to, um, gonna sew around these. Okay. Scrappage, scrappage, where'd put the scrappage? <laughs> Trouble is I have four pieces to make because I have to make one for each journal, you know? Okay, there's that.
eight. We're gonna go there. Okay. Then what I wanted to do is grab my ephemera and see what we might like to put on the top. Um, maybe should have done that first so I could sew around it. I don't know, how, but I think Fabri-Tac will hold it. So what would we like? That, that would be pretty on that one. Let's do that. No time for dilly-dallying about what you're going to choose, Gail. Just got to go for it. Yeah, won't that be pretty right there? And then just that little bit of shine showing. I like that. I may sew around that anyway. Okay, let's find one for this one. Um, it's too pink. That one might be nice. It's the right size anyway. Oh my gosh, I'm down to 10 minutes. Okay, quit stressing, Gail. It doesn't really matter. It's all okay. Okay. I might need those again, so I don't have the room to put them. I'll put them over there. All right, so now. No, I'm quiet, aren't I? Just trying to hurry. <laughs> oh, the challenge, the time challenge, but it's fun. Okay, and then I don't even know if it's gonna show up on this one, not really. Okay, call it good. All right, machine on. So, here we go. I'm not going to bring my sewing machine over because. I don't have time. going to go around the edges but I don't think I need to. I like just having the the card in the middle. This is kind of funky with the colors but you know it's fine. <laughs> So if you had the question, will the sewing machine go through the embossing? The answer is yes. <laughs> okay, those two done. Little journaling cards. All right. So then on these um, on these envelopes, 
what I like to do is I like to take my distress ink and just kind of really lightly rub it over and see how that brings out the pattern so much more vividly. Yeah, that's pretty. Okay. Um, I've also used Inca Gold to do this and that also is really pretty. Um, this one is a very is a very faint. I don't know. I'm going to try it. No. Nope. That's really not going to work on that one. But let's just This one, um, the embossing didn't take quite as well. I don't know why. Um, it's a funny, it's a funny kind of a material that this is made out of, this envelope. But um, I'll be fine. So what I want to do is take another piece of ephemera and put it kind of in the middle. This one's got an oval in the middle. The other one, more of a square. So that works better with the sponge. It's bringing a little bit of that out. So we'll do that. Okay. Right, so now ephemera pieces to go in the middle. What do we have? I have that. That's pretty. Let's do that on that one. Oh boy, five minutes. already cut out. Wasn't that handy. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Glue book. That is really pretty with that though. I like that a lot. So I get this one on. I'm saying I did this challenge. I am still going to do the other one, but uh, the edges are eating up my glue stick. Yeah, that's pretty. Just a pretty little envelope. Okay. And then this other one, what I like. There's this yellow. We better go with the yellow. Don't have time to be indecisive. Oh, wait. What about one of these? Yes, I think I would like one of these. Yeah, and those are gonna fit. There's another bunny one. Where's my scissors? Oh, I'm really bad at cutting this out too. But I already did my three, so if I go over, that's okay. Um. I'm not very good at cutting these out, but I will go as quickly, quickly and accurately. That's what we're after right now. Because these have a little shape to them. They have a little curvy wurvy. Had to get my videos done. This morning, because we have to take Jimmy Joe to the vet this afternoon. More shots for the poor little guy. But the good news is he'll probably sleep a lot today. <laughs> and that is good news. That is good news. Yeah. 
Anyway, I hope this was helpful, especially Jamie's rolling pin trick. And um, for those of you that don't have an embossing machine or don't want to purchase one, there's still a way to do it, which is awesome. Okay. My good grief, that's cute. <sighs> Minute 23 to spare. Okay, and we have envelopes for our little bunny journals. Okay, you guys, we did it. We did it. Fussing about a little bit. Okay. We did it. We did it. We have two journaling cards. And just a little bit of the embossing showing on the edge. I love that. Yeah, those turned out just fine. And then two envelopes embossed on through the 3D embosser. And this one. So that, that turned out cute. Pretty simple. Pretty simple, but cute. Oh, so there we have it. We have just a few seconds left. We have 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. There it is. So, thank you, everybody. <laughs> thank you. I hope this was helpful, and I hope you'll have some fun playing with some embossing stuff. This was fun on these, um, doing it with a rolling pin. So, that's that's always a good thing to think, good thing to know about. And learned something about my friend Jamie. She collects rolling pins and so do I. So this this is one of my vintage rolling pins that we used for this. <laughs> so thanks everybody for watching. Have a grateful day and we'll see you in the next video. Bye everyone.